While we are moving to the cloud for more and more of our work, a lot of the fundamentals of our work doesn't change. There's just things you have to get done. For example, it could be entirely possible that you've got data that you need to move between two different databases. And, I, and so what if we want to do that? Well, let's check it out and let's connect up to a Google SQL database. We've got this available here. We've already made the connection in a previous video. And let's connect up to the Hamshack Radio database. And we're going to compare it on the same server, although we could go to another server. It doesn't matter. I mean, we could compare it even to a local on-premises. We could do whatever we want, as long as we can make the connection and ensure that these are, in fact, SQL server-style databases that we can connect to. And they are. So let's run the comparison. So it's connecting up to both databases, to both servers, to ensure that it's connecting up, it's mapping the databases, it's doing the comparison, and it's already completed the comparison. When we get it, what we're going to see is that there are, in fact, quite a few differences. There are a thousand rows in each of the tables because I've used previous, in a previous video, I used SQL Data Generator to load data into the one database, but not into the other. And so now you can see that there's all this data in the one database and nothing else in the other. The only difference is, is that they both have a customer table with no data in it. But other than that, we've got data we can move. So let's take a look at moving that data. Now we can deploy using SQL Compare or we can deploy using a script. Deploying using a script is always going to be the same. I'm not going to show you that right now just because it's always going to be the same. It's basically creating a T-SQL script and then using some mechanism, whatever choice you make, to run that T-SQL script. But let's talk about deploying from SQL Data Compare. Now, one thing that we're going to point out right now, if we try to run a backup of this, it will not work because of a limitation in Google SQL Database. There's nothing in our tool that allows you, that limits you from doing the backups. It's Google SQL Database that will not allow a standard SQL Server backup without some whole bunch of other configuration settings and other changes that, that we're not going to get into right now. But if we, can, if we can do this, let's take a look at just running the comparison script, and it's going to show us all the stuff that it's going to do, and we're going to let it deploy. Now this will probably take a second or two, and we're going to go ahead and let it do it. And what I'll do is I'll speed up the video just so it gets all, all the rows moved across quickly. Well, in fact, I didn't need to speed up the video, so it finished quick enough. Uh, so it's moved all the rows over. It's now recomparing the databases to ensure that it did everything successfully. And in fact, it's completed. And there we go. Google SQL Database working with SQL Data Compare. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.